Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm back with another basic modeling tutorial. So in our last video, we created a wooden shed in Maya and today we are going to create this uh, wardrobe cabinet. So let's start with uh, the base. Let's take a cube. And uh, change the dimensions. Increase the width to 10 and the depth to 6 and let's decrease the height keep it 0 0.5 now go to face mode and select this top face and extrude it then scale it down like this now create a duplicate Go to front view and uh, pull this up then rotate it like this and put it all the way up here and now let's select these two and uh, combine go to face mode select these two faces and then bridge Now go to edge mode and select this edge, press ctrl and right mouse click and go to this edge ring utilities and select this to edge ring and split. Now bevel it and uh, increase the fraction, keep it 0 0.6 and do one more thing and select this edge and this one. Go to mesh display and select this harden edge. Now go to face mode and select all these faces. Press ctrl E and intrude it. Like this. Go to face mode again and now select this face. Press ctrl E and increase the offset a little bit. And now intrude it. Like this with some offset. Go to edge mode and select these edges. Now bevel. Decrease the fraction and uh, increase one segment. Keep the fraction to 0 0.15. Now go to edge mode again and uh, select this edge. Go to mesh display and harden. Now go to face mode again and select this face then add some offset. Keep it 0 0.25 and intrude it like this. Go to edge mode and select this edge then bevel. Decrease the fraction and increase one segment. Now let's go to front view and uh, take another cube. Pull this up. Bring it out front and uh, place it here. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices and uh, pull them here. And these ones up here. Like this. And now scale it like this. 
go to edge mode select all these edges and bevel increase one segment decrease the fraction and place it inside this cabinet create a duplicate and place this one down here now create another duplicate go to front view and uh, rotate it place it here like this and go to vertex mode select these top vertices and pull them up align it with this cube here now create another duplicate and place this one here now select this one again and create a duplicate place it in the middle and go to vertex mode select these top vertices and pull them up like this pull it down and uh, select these vertices place them here and these ones to the side a little bit like this and now we are done now select all these blocks and uh, combine create a duplicate and we can place it on this side And now let's take a cube again and uh, pull it out place it up here go to vertex mode select these vertices place them here and these ones to the left here select these bottom vertices and pull them up like this maybe a little bit to here and scale it like this go to right view and in the wireframe mode go to modify and center pivot place this cube here and rotate it scale it down a little bit like this maybe rotate it a little low like this go to right view and make sure it's aligned now go to front view create a duplicate and place this one down here and now press shift T to create duplicates with the transformation like this and now we can select all these cubes and uh, combine and we can duplicate and place this one here like this now select these two again and uh, duplicate place these ones down here Go to front view and 
select these two and separate select these two and modify then center pivot place them down like this and now as you can see that we need uh, a couple of more cubes here so what we can do is we can select this and uh, separate then select this one go to modify center pivot create a duplicate place this one down like this create another duplicate and place this one here now select these two and create another duplicate and place them on the right side here like this and now we can select everything and let's deselect all these first and uh, combine so we have these wooden planks now let's select this frame here select everything deselect these two and we have selected the frame then combine and now we have this wooden cabinet so let's model the handle now and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a cylinder pull this up and bring it out rotate it like this go to front view place it up here decrease the radius keep it 0 0.1 also the height let's bring it down to 0 0.05 now go to face mode and select all these faces then extrude and scale like this go to edge mode and select these edges then bevel increase one segment go to these faces again and uh, scale them down add some offset like this and exclude this now go to front view again pull this up here and create a duplicate and place the other one here maybe a little bit to here like this now go to front view and uh, take another cylinder bring that one out and up decrease the radius keep it 0 0.05 and also decrease the height like this place it here like this uh, maybe reduce the radius a little bit more keep it 0 0.03 or 0 0.035 now select these three and combine go to face mode select these faces and these ones then bridge change the curve type to blend and increase the division like this and repeat the same process for these faces so go to face mode and select these faces and these ones then bridge change the curve type to blend and increase the division now do one more thing go to edge mode go to right view and select all these edges Accept these ones go to mesh display and select this soften edge go 
go to edge mode again and select this one and uh, this edge go to mesh display and set it to harden now go to edge mode and uh, connect tool select this edge change the segments to 4 go to vertex mode and select these vertices turn on the top selection press b and with the middle mouse button change the radius of your selection like this press r and scale it a little bit like this And now our handle is ready. So go to right view and wireframe mode. Select this, place it on the door frame. Like this, go to front view again, create a duplicate and place this one on the other side. And now our wooden cabinet is finished. So this was a very simple model and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then you can subscribe to the channel and I'll keep posting more videos like this. So after we're done with this modeling series, I'm going to start a UV unwrapping in Maya and then a basic substance painter series for beginners. So I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.